This is What's Inside the Suitcase Part 2. Written and illustrated by the Grade 3 students of 2022. Yes. Away behind the buildings, you'll find a terrifying mansion. Who's inside? Knock, knock. Oh, it's packing her suitcase. Hoot, hoot. I wonder why she needs all that items. What does she put inside? Something. Wait, open it open up. Open it up. Click, clack. Something to eat. Something to cast spells. Something to teleport. Or something to help her travel. Something to help her travel. A seed to plant. And some things to keep her feet dry. Yep. The witch and her suitcase traveled through the skies. She landed on an island. What's inside? No, not yet. She walked through the dark forest and finds a little dark cave. Who's inside? Knock, knock. She casts a spell. Abracadabra, zippity zoom, make the door open. What's inside? Knock, knock. No, knock, knock. Oh. <laughs> a magical, mysterious bottle with a bubbling, glowing liquid inside. That's easy to say. Drink me, drink me. But no, it's just to get the girls for safety. The witch munches and crunches her ghoulish, ghoulish sandwich, sandwich instead. And makes Then it. continues on her way. Until she can go no further. Uh, only she has something to teleport. Wait, but wait, wait. To... wait, wait. There you go. But what's in the hide the suitcase? The feather. When she lands, no, now no longer tired, she meets a ginormous, petrifying zombie. Hurrah! Who dares cross my building? Bridge. Bridge. While the zombie devours the potion, the witch the, travels to the bridge. The witch nimbly gets across the bridge and comes upon another cave. But this, this time one underground. <gasps> Who's inside? Knock knock. <gasps> A very sharp point. He bejeweled and shiny sword. So terrible. Nope, so valuable. So sharp. No, so powerful. So dangerous. And so mysterious. The sword was so sharp, it looked as if it could cut through the earth's core. Wait, wait, wait. Excited about her great find, the witch continues on her journey with the magical sword poking out of her suitcase. Soon, the witch comes to a deadly cliff. How to get up? But what's inside the suitcase? If only she had something to climb. But what's inside the suitcase? A magical twirling beanstalk immediately shoots out of the ground. She starts to climb up the beanstalk and finds herself stepping into a gurgling, churning, boiling, monstrous mud oh, volcano. Oh, quick. Wait, not yet. If only she had something to keep her feet dry. When she gets through the squelchy mud volcano, her feet clean and dry, she finds a secret door leading Ooh. into another cave. Who's inside? Wait. A scorching jar of a furious inferno of flames. So great, so terrifying, so loud, that seems to be saying, Release me now! Oh, 
there's a monster so great, so giant, so creepy that gives you nightmares. He jumps out of nowhere when the witch takes the jar. If only she had something to scare the monster with. But what's inside the suitcase? Knock, knock. <laughs> the garbage monster is dazzled by the beautiful sparkling sword. While the monster is distracted, the witch manages to escape. She finds a magical door that the monster was hiding. Who's inside? Boo! She finds herself back inside her home. When she opens the suitcase, the fiery inferno was no longer. All that remained was a clump of coal.